welcome back to another site video today we took a trip this is grace city phase three and if you've been on the channel if you've been following the journey and the updates that we've been giving you you definitely know about this building and how it started and where we are today so i'm here with engineer desmond and he's going to give us an update on what is currently going on i see a lot happening the guys are on site they're working i see some blocks being offloaded so sir i see we are the this is the substructure yes okay but before you continue uh -huh. I, I i brought you a beautiful lady yes she's called madame erica hi um she's actually a client um she is Thank at you. phase two okay and she wants to move again to phase three to get another plot here oh. so she actually is here to do the viewing mm -hmm. and then get it for herself okay and she's also going to start a project very soon so she came to see what is happening here yeah. for herself so when, when you see her here she's not a stranger i'm so happy to see you <laughs> and i hope your site experience will be great today oh yeah there's so much we have to tell you and then show you so just buckle up it's going to be amazing exactly. i can promise you that right so sir what are we looking at today all right so i think the last time i missed you here um i had to have set interview uh but <laughs> you did so well <laughs> exactly so what is happening is that we can now see the footings there are a yes. few things i'm going to talk about okay i'll talk about a few don'ts mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll be able to help our listeners or those who are watching us to be able to appreciate what is happening. Yes, please. Number one okay. at this stage, whenever we are doing setting out, mm -hmm. some masons will tell you, let me use blocks. Mm -hmm. Do not use blocks for your setting out. Why not? It gives you inaccuracies. When you are putting your pegs, you are putting your boards, it gives you an accuracy for you to be able to work. Okay. That's point number one. Okay. Point number two, do not feel with any other material mm -hmm. when you are building okay so you can see right here we have rubber over here yes because there were some works going on over there yes you see the material that we have over there mm -hmm. we can't use that material to do any filling over here oh it'll give because, you inaccuracies because it gives you what you call a made-up ground okay okay so it is not good for construction okay. no rubber should be seen or kept anywhere okay. in the trenches. Okay. So these are the few things. Number three, you also realize that we are using six inch concrete blocks okay. instead of five inches. It's very important. Like the saying goes, if your foundation is weak, the building your building crumbles. Exactly. So these are a few things I want to talk about today. Okay. Again, you realize that the rocks that we have done, it should be supposed to be tied very well. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you have to do is you should be able to climb the links without it falling off. Without it, oh, okay. If the links are not properly done, you have issues going up. I see. And we are using 16 inch rods, okay. mild steel. Mm -hmm. These are a few things I just want to talk about mm -hmm. in this particular project. So what we're doing is we are putting the footings. Mm -hmm. Once the footings are done, we will now cast the corner pillars and then this place will now be ready to receive materials. That's okay. what we call the hardcore feel. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's what we are, we are seeing happening at the moment. I see. So after, after um, they are done with the block pilings, I think it will go all around, right? Yeah, In so it will go all around. Well. Where we are standing is supposed to be the, the porch. This is the porch. It's, it, or, or, or at the back here, we call it a terrace. A terrace, okay. So this is a terrace for the building. Okay. So everything is going to go up, but this place is going to go down by six inches. Okay. And most masons, most artisans make this mistake. So we will use this video to educate. Okay. Now, if you watch here closely, look at the height of this block. Look at the height of this block. Yeah, I see a difference. We are going to cut this again. The concrete is supposed to sit on the block. Okay. Not against the block. Okay. It's very important. Mm -hmm. So our concrete material is supposed to sit on this, which means that from this level to the one you are seeing will be six inches, mm -hmm. and then there will be another six inches on top because it will go higher. So there will be six here, there will be six here. So at this point, you're going to have one foot okay. thickness of concrete mm -hmm. sitting on the block. Mm. Wow. So it's going to be like this. Then it will just move this okay. way. Okay. So you're saying this right here is going to be uh, that thick? Six inch thick. Six inch. Okay. 
Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Exactly. That's and you're supposed to, to sit on this, yeah. on this block. Yeah. That will again, make it very steady. Again, we are going to do something. We are going to place rods on this one. Mm -hmm. The idea is that we want, we don't want to have cracks in the building. Okay. Absolutely. We want the building to be as strong as mm -hmm. possible. So we're going to put rods on them. We are also going to put what we call the DPM. Mm -hmm. Downproof membrane. Downproof membrane. membrane. <laughs> to ensure we don't have, in fact, we have done the soil test. We don't have anything like moisture whatsoever. Okay. But as a double check, mm -hmm. we we'll put the downproof membrane to ensure mm -hmm. that the building is well protected. Okay. No cracks, no harm. Everything perfect. Absolutely. I see. So after they'll board these um, reinforcements. Exactly. And then the concrete is going to go inside. Exactly. And then after they will take out the boards. The boards. So then we now now do the backfill, mm -hmm. the hardcore fill, mm -hmm. and after that we will leave it for compaction. So we are going to water it. Mm -hmm. We are again going to compact it with a compactor. Yeah. Leave it for it to be able to set very well. Yeah. Before we put the concrete on top of it. Wow, that's interesting. Now let's talk about the structure that we have behind you. I uh, hear this is the studio. Yes. We already told the audience that the. The client is a singer exactly. and he requested a studio. So this is the structure for the Absolutely. studio. Absolutely. Oh, it's quite huge. <laughs> yeah. So, so the client called yesterday when he saw the images. Yeah. And he was like, why so many? The, the, the place looks too tiny. What is happening? Mm. Does it mean that the, the rooms are going to be small? So I'm going to explain a few things going forward. We have okay. some of the walls in here that we refer to as sleeper walls. Sleeper walls, okay. Uh, in subsequent videos, we are going to talk about the various types of walls that we have. Okay. We have sleeper, we have uh, various types of walls, mm. uh, that retaining wall and all okay. those things. Okay. Indents and all. Okay. Now, sleeper is this. You realize that from where you are standing, mm -hmm. if I have to touch, you have to stretch. Yes. Now, if I get here, stretch your hand. We, we can be like this for a while, mm -hmm. but at a point, we all start struggling. Yes. But if somebody is standing here, mm -hmm. the person gives us a support over here, okay. it becomes easier for us. Yeah. Because some of the rooms are huge, mm -hmm. you need to be able to create intersections to okay. be able to take hold of the feel, the material that's going to come in. Yeah. If it's too wide, the blocks will fall apart. Okay. So more support. Exactly, more support. Oh. So there are some of the walls that will not go up Mm -hmm. They are only here, they will sleep, they won't go up again. Okay, just for the support. Exactly. Purpose. Ah. So it's not like the, the building is going to be small. Like when it's completed, you'd have more room. I would expect you when we start doing our markings mm -hmm. for the first superstructure. Okay. That's when you're now going to see the hall, the mm -hmm. bedrooms, mm -hmm. the washrooms, mm -hmm. whatsoever, you're going to see all of them. Yeah. Interesting. I'm actually looking forward to it because now that I see it this way, I was telling estate manager this morning that it's so much happening. My eyes can't even wrap around it. But Absolutely. When we get to that stage, you'll be able to understand, okay, this is the hall area. This, the demarcations will be more um, vibrant. So I see cement there. So that's already the foundation that's been poured. Absolutely. Okay. So I see more people talk about foundation and they are actually referring to all these blocks that you are seeing. Yeah. That is not it. The foundation is just one material. Look at where the guys are standing. They are standing on the concrete. Mm -hmm. So that's the foundation. It ends there. And we call this the ordinary strip foundation. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's it. We are done with the foundation. Where you are standing on is what we call the footings. Okay. Yes. The footings. So like I was explaining last week, yes. if this part of your leg is cut off, yeah. you won't have stability. True. So where these pillars are, we have something we call pad. Okay. So, so it's a pad foundation. Pad foundation. So we have oh. pad and ordinary strip merged or fused together. Yeah. So these pillars, what happens is that the pillars will now serve as your spine. Okay. That's why when That's somebody touches true. your spine, you cannot move. So what happens is that the pillars are going to be the ones to carry the load. Oh. So when you put any load on your head, now when the load gets here, it transmits the, the load through your neck first to your shoulder. Yeah. So you'll be seeing beams as we continue. Mm -hmm. So the beams receive it. Then the beams after receiving the load, transfers the load through your spine. Mm -hmm. It gets your waist like another beam. Another beam. Then this one's distributed. So mm -hmm. the whole weight you have, you give it back to the earth. Okay. It's the same thing. You are going to give all the load back to the earth. Right, that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. And later on, I will talk to you about, remind me, I'll talk to you about types of loads that we have. Mm -hmm. 
we have dead load and superimposed load. Now, one more question. How deep is the foundation? Is the foundation uh, depending on the, the size of the building? How so deep it depends it? Okay. on various factors. Oops. Number one, type of structure. Okay. The weight is going to give to the whole building. In fact, there are some of them that we even have to sometimes uh, do what we call expansion and contraction at a point if the building is huge. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it always depends on the type of building. That would determine how deep it's supposed to go. Two, the type of soil. Okay. Is the soil good enough? If it is not good enough, you have to go very deep so you have been able to hit a place where it's very stable. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. All right. As you can see, there's always something to do at site and I'm always excited to be here to see the updates. Today we've given you a full update on this property. We're now at the substructure. The next time we come here, there's different things you'll see and we'll be on a whole new other level. We know you love these updates, so we love to come here and give it to you. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel, like the video, share it. I'll see you another time.